Hey folks, welcome back. So the goal of this session is to take a deeper dive into creating some basic Tableau reports. So we looked at things like um, connecting to different data sources. We will look at a new concept today on live and extracts. Then we will drag and drop some data. We'll create some graphs and then we'll slightly look at what are calculated columns, how to refresh extracts and so on and so forth. All right, so in the last lecture, we saw connecting to Excel tabs and SQL Server and joining multiple data connections and ultimately creating a simple Tableau report. So let's go ahead and play with Tableau a bit. Let's explore a new feature in Tableau called Extracts. In Tableau, as I mentioned before, we can connect to live data source as well as a Tableau data source, right? So, uh, Tableau data source, by what I mean by Tableau data source is it's, it's basically an option called Tableau extract where it pulls in data and then stores it into an internal Tableau database where it is optimized for speed. Now, my personal recommendation is to do that if possible. It, it'll greatly improve your report rendering speed. And again, you can set some refreshes, schedules and stuff like that to kind of refresh the data inside the Tableau database. Now, this is what we call as a Tableau extract. So let's go ahead and quickly look at that. So if you remember, this is the Tableau data source that we created. So we connected to an Excel workbook. We dragged and dropped two tabs, we joined them. Now this example is actually from our previous video where we also have a SQL Server database connected. So this is basically what we did. And then we went ahead and clicked on the worksheet and created this report, right? So now one thing you observe is this connection says it's a live connection, right? And what it means is it is directly connecting to that Excel workbook and the SQL server. It's not importing the data into its own database, right? So once we import the data, that's where Tableau does some magic and optimizes the data so that it can be even more faster. Now, how do we do that? It's basically we, we click on this button called extract. So as you can see, what it says is use an extract for better performance with the multi-connection data source. So I'm going to click on that. And by default, what it will do is it will actually pull in all the rows from whatever we have configured here, right? into its own database. Now, again, if you don't want all the rows, suppose it's, it's, you know, like 30 million rows or something like that. And if you're not interested in all the data in it and your report doesn't need all the data, you can very well go and edit or you can add a filter where you can just say that only give me rows where, you know, modified date is, you know, um, greater than so on and so forth, right? You can do that. And it will basically just get you that data. And it's worth exploring some other options as well, where you can actually, um, you know, configure a couple of other things in your filters, um, you know, greater than, less than, equal to, and so on and so forth. We won't go too much in detail, but in the coming videos, we will explore the concept of filters where the same window will appear in your report as well. All right, so we've done that. And this is basically the extract. All right, so let me go ahead and go to my report. And now what it is doing is it's actually rendering the report from the extract. So if you can right click and say extract data, it will actually pull in all the data from the Excel sheet and the SQL Server database. So you see importing data and it will actually import it and then create its own little database. Now, this is what I always recommend people that, you know, if possible, go ahead and import it because Tableau has its own optimization logic. All right, so if you see, it says use extract and there's a check mark, that means it is using the extract at this point of time. All right, so in, in short, all these techniques will literally pull data from your upstream and store it locally in your Tableau database. So, I personally like to create such databases or data sources ready-made 
This way, my analysts can directly connect to this ready-made Tableau database and start creating reports. So think about it this way. They don't need to worry about data cleaning, upstreams, joining data, writing queries, all the things that we did in the last two lectures, right? They can just connect to this particular data source and directly start creating these reports. So they will get these dimensions and measures as soon as they connect to this particular data source, right? So it's, it's that simple. Now, you know, you could definitely do that and then set some sort of a schedule where it can, you know, run every 12 hours and then pull in data from your upstreams and then it'll keep refreshing it, right? So you can, you can set as a multiple uh, times a day refresh. Now, all that sounds good, but you know, you're creating this on your laptop, right? So how does somebody in your organization use this particular data source? How do you share this database so that anybody can connect? So it's essentially the same way as you would do a Tableau report, right? Tableau has something called as, you know, deploying or publishing this to a Tableau server. It can be an on-premise or, you know, that's maintained by our company, or it can be Tableau Cloud, right? So the way we do it is just right click and say publish to server, right? And there will be a URL that your administrator will provide. And then you say connect, and then you go ahead and just publish it. Now, anyone who is basically an analyst need not create this. All he needs to do is go to data source, click add, and then there is an option called Tableau server. Ah, let me new data source. And then there is a Tableau server where he would type in that URL and the data source that you just published would just appear there and he would just connect it. After connecting, he would actually get these dimensions and measures, right? So I don't worry about it for now. I will put some reading materials where you can actually read about it as well. All right. So let's move on, right? So, so far we have only seen tabular data. Now let's explore some graphs, right? After all, Tableau is really good at visualization, really good at line charts, bar charts, pie charts. So it'll be interesting to look at that as well. So let me go ahead and just show you something simple. I'll go ahead and create a sheet and let me call this as world indicators and I'll call this as graph. So what we are precisely going to use is this portion, right? It has some ready-made graphs here, right? And this, this is basically your pre-baked graphs and we are precisely going to use this. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to drag and drop a measure. So let me see. So I will drag and drop this one, passenger cars, and this is total, right? And, um, what else? I can go ahead and actually drag and drop, um, let's say date, right? So we have dates and we have passenger counts. So this is a typical tabular report, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this option, which looks like a line chart and magically this will convert into a line chart, right? So you have the dates or the years on the x-axis and then the passenger cars on the y-axis, right? So this is, this is looking really good. Now I want to show you a couple of more things, right? So one of the things is if you drag and drop this passenger cars into this icon called labels, it will actually label them here. So this marks section is actually pretty interesting, right? There is tons of things you can do with colors, labels, path, tooltips, and we'll, we'll, we'll look at this more in depth as we go on in further videos. So tooltip is nothing but, you know, if you hover on this, you see that particular information. Now, all this information is highly customizable, right? You can actually write an English sentence which says, hey, the, you know, the passenger count was way about 10,000. You can dynamically kind of create those sentences as well. So we'll look at that more as we go on in the further lectures. All right, so other thing I wanted to show you is this particular plus sign that appears. Now, if your date has more granular data, like month, week, 
days you can keep drilling it down it depends on what data is out there so that's kind of it all right so yeah one more thing i wanted to show you is even though you have connected to a data source you can kind of um go ahead and um you know rename this as as you want right so let me go ahead and do something like this right just click on rename and then i can just type something like this renamed or sub region all right whatever comes to your mind similarly you can go and rename the data source name as well so these are just plain simple stuff like you would do in microsoft word or something like that all right um i will have a separate session on something called calculated columns but kind of let me just give you um you know an example when you right click there are a bunch of options here and one of the options is to create a calculated field now calculated field is nothing but what you do is you have all these existing columns or existing attributes you kind of make use of them and create a new column right so imagine that you had an attribute called first name and last name you could create a calculation called full name where you just append first name and last name right so let me kind of show you an example i'll call this as sample calculation and and just to give you some reference you can really really write some very very complex calculations and and um, you know what i'll do is i'll i'll create a separate lecture just to show you about calculations right so there are tons of things you can use tons of functions you can use there are string manipulation functions there is logical functions so you can really write very very complex code but for now let me just keep it very very simple so what i'll do is i'll just say as soon as i start typing it shows me the attributes so region plus and then um i'll just uh put a string over there and then say sub region okay so what i'm doing is just region and then followed by parenthesis sub region and i'm just putting it out there and it says the calculation is valid click okay and you see that the sample calculation appeared here right and i can kind of even you know let's let's actually create a let's go back to the tabular form i'll put this as rows and let me go ahead and drag and drop the sample calculation so you see that it has appended it so now this is actually a very very simple calculation you can really write some very complex calculations as well okay um all right so the next thing i wanted to show you is something called as hierarchies right so hierarchy is nothing but you know it's it's kind of a drill down so let me show you this so if i drag and drop country and drag and drop region and drag and drop sub region it's kind of hierarchical in nature right and what i can do is i can kind of create a pre calculated um you know dimension which basically looks like this hierarchy and the way i do it is basically um you know you can kind of hold the ones that you want to include in hierarchy and then just drag and drop into um you know the other attribute so what i'm doing is i'm going to drag and drop region and sub region into country oops this already has a hierarchy so let me just remove the hierarchy and show you so i'm going to drag and drop region and sub region and i'm just going to put it over the country and it says do you want to create this hierarchy i click okay now if i drag and drop just this one attribute it allows me to drill down look at this plus sign it allows me to drill down even further right so this is basically um hierarchy naturally it 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 becomes more easier for you when you have geographical attributes to create this kind of a hierarchy so awesome so to summarize uh we saw some basics of tableau we saw how to join data connections connecting to excel sql server and others we had a look at extract versus live connections we created tableau reports we created some awesome charts right some line charts we basically used the text in it like you know we displayed some numbers in it we used labels we briefly saw calculations again don't um um you know worry too much about it we'll have a separate lecture 
and we also saw the concept of hierarchies right so at this point you should be comfortable playing with some data and creating some basic reports so i would encourage you to read some of the materials given in the documents before you watch the next lecture so i have some white papers some videos and some additional reference material which will tell you how to publish a data source and you know use them and so on and so forth so see you soon